So if you want to land more clients, a great way to do that is by leveraging ChatGPT and your blog. I don't get it, but today we've got Ben Albert from realbusinessconnections.com. He's a marketing expert, and he's going to explain a really innovative strategy for prospecting by leading with value. Ben, take it away, brother. What are we talking about here? Yeah. If you want to dive right in, can we do like a mock sales call and tell me what you think about it? Okay. So I call you up. I'm like, hey, is Mark there? This is Mark. Yeah, Mark, this is Ben with XYZ Company. I noticed that um, you didn't have an updated website. We actually help businesses save time and money with proven Click. marketing systems. I didn't even make it to, can I have 20 seconds of your time? Complete, you know, self-centered, not value-driven. And one thing you do very well, Mark, is you have a podcast, you create content, you start conversations. I'm sure that some of your guests possibly become clients, but you're not leading with this needy commission breadth sales pitch. So let's go to sales pitch number two. Um, I'm making this up on the spot, so it's not going to be perfect, guys. This is but... great, by the way, because the amount of DMs that I get on Instagram and on LinkedIn that are exactly that first sales pitch, it's 90%. <laughs> It's, it's and always, hey, you know, we can help you make a bunch of clips on your social media. Bro, that's what I literally do. And I love that when they pitch you on something that you already do. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best. Would you like 50 reviews, Apple reviews, high rating, Google? Like they, it's, it's not, it doesn't even sound like they're speaking English. But um, what's funny is we're doing this audio, but this could be done in a DM as well. Same concept. It's, hey, Mark, I notice you've been with the Better Business Bureau for 20 years. Congratulations for being a champion of trust in our area. I have a blog. I'm, I'm a Rochester resident as well, Rochester, New York. Just as context, guys. I'm a Rochester resident as well. I'd love to feature you as, like, highlight you as the top roofer in Rochester, New York. Would you even consider possibly being featured? Is, is, am I boring you? Tell me more. I, I'm interested. I want to be featured as a top roofer. That sounds good. Well, well listen, I, I called you right out of the blue. If we have a few minutes, we'll go through like your top tips and we can get this started right now. There's no cost to this, right? I'm just trying to add value to the community or we can schedule a time to walk through it. Or honestly, if you're, I honestly wouldn't give three options in real life, Mark, but honestly, if you're super busy, I'll just send you over the form and you can do it, you know, once you're done jumping off that roof. So that pitch and honestly giving three options is a bad idea, Mark. But but the idea here is I'm going to send them a Google form that in theory they have multiple times the person has filled out with me on the spot. We're going to get their favorite quote. We're going to get some three main industry strategies let them word vomit, whatever comes to mind, take the information, get their address, get their email, get their contact information, all great stuff for me to follow up. If they're a prospect, I'm going to obtain all that information, put it into this form and then send this form over to jet GPT, where we can take those three main strategies. We can take that quote. We can take that word vomit of information that would be hard for even a copywriter to sift through, create a blog post very quickly, and send it back over to them where it's, hey, Mark, thank you for taking the time. This is your feature on Rochester Business Connections. We didn't touch on this, but Real Business Connections is the podcast now. I started as Rochester Business Connections. So rochesterbusinessconnections.com is where I can prospect locally. I can send a DM or cold call somebody, get them to fill out a form, create the content. On the back end, this is how I can help. But what kind of tremendous value did we offer well before the sales pitch started? That's the key. Yo, are you interested in business ownership? For many entrepreneurs, the journey starts with non-food franchising. Franchising is simply the better option for many entrepreneurs and demand is at an all-time high. Lucky for you, John Austinson, founder of Franbridge Consulting, is here to help you today. John and his Franbridge Consulting team are part of the largest brokerage in the US and are constantly vetting the market thoroughly. Frambridge is hands down the premier source for the best opportunities in the non-food franchising world. 
They will find the best business for you, your personality, and your location. From healthcare to dumpsters, from youth soccer to oil changes, even insulation and windows. And the best part, it's 100% fee-free, no additional costs to you. You may have heard John on Entrepreneurs on Fire. He has served as an Inc. 500 franchisor, a multi-brand franchisee, and in fact, he's one of the top 1% consultants nationwide. Listen, sign up for a free consultation with the CEO, John, today, not his assistant, not his sales team. Sign up for free with John today at FranBridgeConsulting.com. That's FranBridgeConsulting.com. And guess what? He's even going to send you a copy of his book for free, Non-Food Franchising. For free, free book. You got to love it. So go to FranBridgeConsulting.com right now. All right, let's get into the episode. So there's there's a few reasons why I love this idea, and I'm glad I brought you on, Ben, to, to explain this. It's like every time I talk to Ben, I, I get value, so I appreciate that, Ben. It's definitely the type of guy you want to connect with. But what's cool about this is you can automate almost all of this. I mean, you can send a DM to someone and say, like you said, hey, I love what you're doing. Would love to feature you on my blog. Fill out this form. It'll take you three minutes, right? Yeah. And then once that form is filled out, I've been using Zapier and I I assume that's what you're doing. You're using Zapier to automate this, but I can, I can take that form as soon as it gets filled out, Zapier sends it to chat GPT, chat GPT will take it. It'll write up my 1500 word blog article, create a Google, a Google doc in my Google drive. And then I can just have a team member go in at, at whatever time they like, or maybe I do it or whatever, add it to my blog my blog post that'll probably take 10 minutes. And then I can add that person to an email nurturing sequence. And I can say, Hey, here's your blog. It's live. Here's the link. And then I can continue to kind of like market them in the future for whatever my services are. Exactly. Find those opportunities. And I'm not using Zapier. I need you in my life, Mark, because my process isn't completely automated. There's a little bit of copy pasting going on. Um, but Where this idea first came from is I was actually hiring freelancers to write the articles for me because I was putting out so many podcasts and so busy that I couldn't take the 60 minutes to have the interview and then the 90 minutes for post-production. So I thought I'll launch a blog. They fill out a form, hire a freelancer to do the writing. This actually took the hiring of the freelancer out of the equation which gives me the capacity to do this at scale that let's say I spend two hours a week just sending DMs or just making cold calls and I get five to 10 people to say, yes, I'd love to be. And I spend one to two hours putting out this content and just one of those people become clients. But if I'm doing that weekly or monthly, look at how it'll scale. And we haven't even touched on, I know it's a completely different topic, I'm building SEO value in nurturing my website in the scenario, Rochester Business Connections. So I'll be the number one source in Rochester, New York for this kind of thing. So you choose your niche, then you reach out to people in that niche. You create a blog around them giving you the content. A lot of people already do this, but what happens is they have you fill out the form. And then the blog just looks as a Q&A where they just copy paste your answers. A lot of people have been doing this, but the chat GPT allows it to organically embed their answers into a beautifully written post. And if you set up the prompts, you can set up the SEO keywords to kick butt. And the last piece is if you can get them to share it on their website, they're linking back to yours. So you're literally tackling everything you can do in marketing, creating content, relationship, SEO, (laughs) Yeah, man, I'm I'm high on this stuff, dude. It's brilliant, and I I've, I actually have never heard of this strategy, but it, it makes total sense. You're building SEO to your website. You're leading with value to people that are, could be a potential client, or maybe they're not even a potential client, but they're highly regarded in your industry. So it helps build right. your rev- relevancy because not all backlinks are created equal, right? We want to get backlinks from places that Google feels are an authority on a particular topic and you can kind of build your authority. This is really a brilliant strategy, Ben, really brilliant strategy. And and like I said, as well, there's, there's all sorts of ways you could automate this. Like I mentioned with the Zapier, uh, but you could also automate it so that as soon as they fill out the form, they get added to some sort of email nurturing campaign 
we were saying, hey, thanks for filling out the form. This is what we do. You know, I, that, that's something that I'm working. I'm not an expert in that, but I'm working with some people that are so I can kind of flesh that out and not be annoying. But I think that if you're leading with value, like you're talking about, like leading and showing them off as an expert in a particular field, the person's going to be much more likely to open up the emails that you send to them in the future, I would think. I totally agree. And you made a good point that there could be a checkbox on that form that says, is it okay that I subscribe you to my email ch you know, chain, get the permission to market to them, then do the nurture sequence. You also made a good point about maybe they aren't a possible client, but they're an industry leader in whatever industry you're in. And for me, I'm, I'm just focusing on my community region. Um, you can go to their website, see if they have a resource page, see that they're actually going to share it, kind of confirm through the eye test that you'll get that backlink. And then you can reach out to high domain authority leaders in your industry, do this, have you get, put it on their research page, build the backlinks, whether or not they're a client. So thank you for bringing that to the light, because even if they're not a client, but you want to use it as a backlink strategy another way to do it yeah i mean it's just this is such a cool idea um i just kind of want to end this session right now so i can go and start <laughs> executing on this strategy <laughs> it's so good i i I'm, i can't believe i've never heard this mentioned before but in in this I is made the reason up, i love doing this show yeah. is bringing on people like you to kind of flesh out these new exciting applications with stuff like chat gpt Dude, it's fun. And you bring up the automation. That's why I encourage everybody, if they're not subscribed and listening to this show, I'm an example. I'm using a strategy, but it's not fully automated yet. So it's a constant evolution. This stuff's only going to get better. Yeah. And you can even take this next level. Like Zapier is such a powerful program. They could fill out the form, assuming they click that join email or something, or maybe you even don't. I don't know. There's some opt out. I, I talk, talk to someone about that, but you can even send it directly over to convert kit automatically add this person to convert kit automatically add them to a particular nurturing sequence that you've specifically set up for people that fill out the form. Um, you know, I'm building out a referral program for people that sign up for, or that send people for podcast services. So I could quickly inform them about that. It just seems like a really powerful way of leading with value and getting people that, that actually would want to get what you have to give them. I don't know. I just, this seems like the very cusp of the, I, of the, of the idea here. And I really love it. Really, really love it, Ben. Yeah, dude. What one tiny nuance is, I don't know if you've ever had to like call someone 20 times and like almost bully them to work with you. They end up being crappy clients. The yeah. person that responds, fills out the form, shares it. Those are the kind of people you want to work with anyways. So you're kind of grazing whether you want to work with them in the first place. You're almost uh, testing the waters. You're, you're, you're diving in. You're taking a first date before you dive in full fledged. Pre so and and pre again, I love merging this. I'm immediately like this has got my wheel spinning. You know, I can immediately um, – put some of my team members on helping to assist to kind of smooth out the edges. I could even have a team member go out and DM a hundred people on LinkedIn that look like they might be interesting. Exactly. And then maybe let's say we get a 10% return. We get 10% of those people. We get 10 out of a hundred, fill out the form. They're in our sequence. They're in our value model, our value sequence, our value funnel. Super, super sweet. Ben, where can we find more? Where can we get more Ben in our life? Yeah, I mean, guys, hit subscribe because you're here right now. Wherever you found this, just type in real business connections. If I failed you, check out the show notes, but you should be able to type in real business connections on any platform. You'll find me and then we'll go from there. Dot com. Thanks for joining us here today, Ben. Listen, y'all, you know what to do. Go take action. I'll see you next time.